The Philadelphia Eagles are now officially out of salary cap hell. They shed the $10 million worth of salary that they needed to shed by not only releasing Brent Selleck, but also restructuring Lane Johnson's contract. So uh, first thing, let's talk about Brent Selleck, longest tendered Eagle released moments ago. So that move saves $4 million. And it wouldn't surprise me if Brent Selleck winds up coming back on a cheaper deal once Wednesday comes around. So they had to make a move to get a couple more million dollars off the books in terms of the salary cap and Selleck is the casualty there. So the reason why I would consider bringing him back on a cheap deal, well, you have Zach Ertz and Billy Brown, those two guys, more receiving threats. You kind of need a blocking tight end in the fold. And if he agrees to come back on a, on a cheap deal, I would definitely do it. Now, the bigger news is the restructure of Lane Johnson's contract. Now, howieing isn't just pertained to making trades and doing crazy shenanigans. It also has to do with restructuring and the way that he does this because, I mean, Lane Johnson's still going to get paid. He's still going to get the money that he wants and he, and, he, and he signed up for, but it's just getting kind of uh, paid out differently. It, it's getting spread out differently. So his base salary for this season is now just $790,000, which is down from $10.25 million. So you are now under the salary cap threshold, $7.25 million there and $4 million from Brent Selleck. And the reason why the restructure is important is you didn't have to cut Vinny Curry. Vinny Curry, I expect him to be dealt. I'm not expecting a lot of draft compensation for him. I mean, if, if you get a fifth, that would be a huge win. But I don't expect anything more than a sixth or a seventh. I mean, we've, we've seen the market kind of get dictated with Robert Quinn and Michael Bennett. Uh, Robert Quinn is younger than Vinny Curry and – you know, even though he hasn't been as productive in recent years, uh, he's he had, what, seven, I think it was 17 and a half sacks the one year. Um, so Robert Quinn is a better player, and, and, you know, all the Dolphins had to surrender was a fourth. So I'm hoping Vinnie Curry gets traded, and you can get a six or seven for him. So that would free up five more million dollars. And I would also expect some more restructures coming. So these aren't pay cuts. These are restructures. The money is still going to get distributed. It's just getting distributed differently. And, you know, Howie Roseman, he knows what he's doing when it comes to these restructures. So it's, it's going to be a fun free agency period for another reason this year because the Eagles don't have a lot of cap. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the limited cap space that they have at their disposal. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'm out of here. Just a quick little video here. And we'll see what other moves are going to be made. That's it. Peace out.